hi friends you are watching take blog and in this session i want to show you how to configure ssh key based authentication uh, between two linux computers so ssh key based authentication uses uh, a key pair that is uh, public and private key for authentication purpose so basically uh, work time work diagram of uh, ssh authentication is uh, first of all private key initiate a ssh connection and then server side uh, send a uh, random challenge messages to client side then client computer encrypted those messages and back to the ser server and then server decrypt this message by using pub public key and if it is successfully decrypted then a uh, cell is opened or uh, desired command is executed so in order to do that first of all we have to create a ssh key uh, key pair for both client and server side uh, to do that first of all you need to log in your client side computer and generate a key pair by using ssh keys and command so type ssh this k y g n S T R S. Okay. The default location of your key com key pair. If you want to change, then type here. Otherwise, left it blank. Blank. Now system will ask for a pass phase. If you want to set pass phase, then type your pass phase. Otherwise, left it blank. Pass phase is a password that uh, decrypt your uh, keys here I set it blank just enter again enter your key combination uh, has been created now you can see by ls command ls ssh here you can see a pair of key has been created this one is private key for client side and this one is public key for server side so now you have to move the public key to your server computer you can use s copy to move that and before before move you have to make sure that the uh, server has the ssh directory to store the public key so if if you uh, haven't the ssh uh, directory you have to create so mkdir sorry dot ssh basically it is a hidden folder then change mod of directory to 700 chmod 700.ssh now you can copy the public key to server ssh directory Here I am using SCP to copy the public key to our server computer at SSH directory the name of authorized key. So basically here you can see the idrsa.pub the name will be changed to our server as authorized key. The directory is ssh dot ssh at server side but the key file name has been changed enter it 
Now you do ask for password. File is copied. You can see here ls the file has been moved. Now try to log in from client to server without any password. So in order to do that you have to type ssh you have logged in to server you can see 